So today we're going to talk about how to treat yourself on a serious budget. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Sarah, also known as Budget Girl here on the internet, and I believe that you can meet all of your money and life goals with the aid of a budget. I make videos every week on how to manage your money, pay off debt, and live your very best life on less. If you'd like to learn how to do some serious self-care and treat yourself on a budget, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to this channel to see more. So today's video is actually a collab with my friends over at Go With Less. Amy and Tim over at Go With Less have the most amazing channel. They are just starting out, but they are so cool and they can teach you how to do what they have done, which is retire early in their 40s and travel the entire world pet sitting, travel hacking, and on a serious dime. I cannot wait to be in the position that they are and I will be soaking up all of their tips when I am. So make sure to check out their channel and the others in the description box below because we're all coming at you with tips on how to treat yourself. Shoot. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with the treat yourself, origins. Um, everyone's probably seen those memes online with Aziz Ansari and an actress and they do the treat yourself and they have a treat yourself day once a year on the TV show that this came from where they go and just regardless of price give themselves everything they've ever wanted. Unfortunately they do it with like credit cards and debt and they cannot afford the things that they are purchasing. So it's really and it's really not a good place to glean lessons from. However, I and the rest of the budgeting community believe that you can treat yourself on the super cheap. So I'm going to tell you some of the ways that I treat myself in my life. Uh, granted, I am debt free now and some of these things I didn't do when I wasn't debt free. I went pretty hard for three years to pay off $33,000 worth of debt and I got rid of it and now I'm in a much better place financially. But I still don't like to spend a lot of money on myself. I'm actually pretty bad at self-care, working on it, work in progress here. But, and I don't go get my nails done, I don't go get massages. I probably get a pedicure a couple of times a year just because my feet get a little nasty. Don't tell. <laughs> and the rest of the kind of beauty stuff I tend to do at home. But there are a few areas, a few areas where I do like to kind of treat myself, especially within my budget and that make me kind of feel a little bit more put together, a little more pampered and a little more ready to face the world. So the first thing I do to treat myself is I take time to read a lot. If you haven't seen, I did a video recently, I'll link it below on how I'm reading at least a hundred books this year. And that requires a serious time commitment. I want to read because it expands my mind. It makes me more imaginative. I get to learn things from people who have come before me who are super knowledgeable that I'd never get to meet in person. And also I just love it and I've always loved it. But if I don't take the time for it and actually dedicate the time for it, I won't do it. So what I do is I actually schedule myself time to read. Every single night before bed, I just got a new Kindle. Jacob got it for me for my birthday and it lasts like months. It's amazing. I take my e-reader and I read it while I'm falling asleep. I also download audiobooks to my phone, which I listen to while I am getting ready for work and on my commute and sometimes on my lunch break and when I'm running errands. I also am able to do this very frugally by not paying for about 98% of the books that I read. If you'd like to learn how to read for pretty much anything you want for completely free and all the best tips and hacks on how to get like multiple library cards and get on holds lists and do all the stuff so that you always have something wonderful to read available to you, check out my I'm reading 100 books video below because I've got all the hacks. The next way I treat myself is no secret. I've talked about it a lot on the channel and you know, I'm not gonna quit talking about it because I truly love it. I like to invest in good coffee and tea. I love my coffee and I now purchase from uh, all sorts of specialty places. I don't spend that much on coffee, but I do spend more than like the can of Folgers. I go to the coffee aisle in the grocery store or I purchase the, my coffee at like World Market or through you know, slightly more specialty shops and I like to get the flavored ones. I love like a good pecan coffee or like seasonally flavored and I have an espresso maker that I got for $5 at the thrift store and I love making myself just 
a beautiful cup of coffee with all the add-ins. I add um, like pump foam creamer and regular creamer. Sometimes I put a little bit of whipped cream on top and I've recently gotten into tea. So I actually went to a specialty <laughs> shop and <laughs> recently and actually spent $30 on three different kinds of tea and I've really, really been enjoying brewing those, especially at night when I don't want the caffeine because I'm not gonna brew decaf, I'm not a monster. And <laughs> just kind of doing some honey and milk and tea and it's a really nice way to kind of wind down at night. It's a treat, it really feels like I am treating myself and kind of looking out for myself and my body and respecting what it would enjoy. So the next way I treat myself is by purchasing all the plants that I can afford. <laughs> it's actually probably too many plants at this point. I love plants. I'm a total millennial. I don't have kids. I don't have a house, but I have a lot of plants and I really enjoy them. I bought this one today, literally, as I'm filming this. Um, I went to Home Depot for something else and I found this baby. It's a donkey's tail. And if he, if he likes where he lives, he'll grow like these beautiful, lush things all the way down and they'll trail and they'll just be gorgeous and I have a plant wish list <laughs> that Jacob sometimes buys me presents off of. I just, I love them and I also love the ritual of going around to every single one every weekend and watering them and like dusting them and just kind of naming them and talking to them and generally being an insane person. But this is, this is a huge place where I treat myself because Often these plants are not the cheapest in the world. This one was $10 and while I love finding myself a really great deal on a plant, I do sometimes spend a little bit more on them within my budget. I do have not a plant budget but a personal budget and this is one of the things that brings me the most joy to spend out of. So I love my garden this summer. I plan on actually growing some food in my little porch garden and I just, I absolutely love it. it. It feels like a total treat. It's something I really enjoy and it's something I'm willing to invest in. Next up is baths. I actually got this really cool bubble wand from Lush because I just can't abide paying $8 for a bath bomb. I just won't do it and I've been too lazy to make my own. But I heard about these bubble wands which can be used for about eight to 10 baths and they give this really nice foam to them and it makes a very nice bath and I like to take a hot, like scalding hot bath and read my new Kindle is waterproof. How cool is that? They, they know who their market is. It's me. <laughs> and so I like to sometimes read and unwind at night in a bath. It's cliche, but I think it's a cliche for a reason. Sometimes I will do a face mask or a hair mask while I'm in the bath and it really makes me feel pampered and also obviously major budget friendly because it's just a little bit extra on the water bill and sometimes a little, a little soapy suds. Next, I also got this bidet, which I'm looking forward to telling you about. I did an Instagram post about this. This was just a little kind of frugal life upgrade. It was about $30. It was supposedly supposed to be very easy to install and also potentially allow you to save money on toilet paper. And I hadn't until this video found an opportunity to talk about it, but let's do it. <laughs> so $30 bidet, I had never tried a bidet before. Um, Jacob, my boyfriend, installed it. It was supposed to be easy to install. They give you this little plastic wrench, which straight up is to mock you because you can't use that for anything. Jacob ended up taking apart the entire toilet I believe I was laughing too hard the entire time to take any video or photo footage, but eventually he put it back together and it works. We did have to take a trip to the hardware store for some like better wrenches or something, but it's really nice. Actually, after you get over the initial kind of like spurty shock, it's very nice and you end up feeling a lot cleaner. Um, to clarify for those of you who don't know kind of how a bidet works. You do still use some toilet paper to like kind of dry yourself off, but it's not as much because you've been kind of clean. Some people use a towel, I just use toilet paper. My favorite part about it though, is that when you're on your period, it kind of clean things, cleans things out down there for you and it's very refreshing. And I actually tend to get a little like, this is TMI, but things tend to get a little like agitated down there for me, you know, and for a lot of women, I know it does when you're 
taking in and out tampons and menstrual cups or whatever you use, things just get a little agitated. And when you're also like wiping down there during that time, it's not fun, it gets a little raw. Bidet helps with that. You don't have to use as much toilet paper, much more clean feeling. You don't feel like you're walking around bloody all the time. So if I haven't lost you already, thanks for hanging out for this TMI on periods and bidets. Also in kind of the bathroom area, the next way I treat myself is by having a good moisturizing routine. Now I am still, okay, and the state of my face is because of a period, not because of my moisturizing routine. You're, normally my skin's a little better than this, but I, once I turned 30, I was like, okay, I really need to get serious about this moisturizing thing. But I was a little overwhelmed with the sheer number and prices of moisturizers. So I tried a bunch of stuff and these are the things that are kind of working for me. I tried out The Ordinary on the referral of a columnist at The Financial Diet and I actually really like them. I use this in their Buffet Serum. Sometimes this is just a basic moisturizer lotion. The only reason I haven't reordered it is because it doesn't have a sunscreen in it. But this is very nice. It was about $8. More normally right now, I'm using this Aveeno Daily moisturizer in the morning before I come to work and kind of start my day. And then before I go to bed, I've been using this Aveeno night cream. And I do think it's very important for us to treat our skin well. It's the only skin we're ever gonna get. Both of these are fairly affordable at like, they're less than $15 each. And I, I feel better. My skin feels a little better. I very rarely wear makeup and I feel like this generally helps me with keeping kind of nice looking skin without makeup. So you don't have to use this brand. I'm not sponsored by Aveeno, though how cool would that be? But I do believe that we should moisturize, especially as we're getting older, and it's a way that I treat myself. I do scoff a little at the prices of most, most moisturizers, and I know that I probably should be investing more in skincare, but in the meantime, this will do. And the final way I treat myself is actually by purchasing bird food <laughs> to watch birds um, come feed outside my porch. Once again, this is not something I would have done when I was in my debt-free journey because I was only buying food for me and not for anybody else, <laughs> animal or mankind. But now that I am debt-free, I am in my 30s. <laughs> I like bird watching. <laughs> It might sound really 80s, but I found a really kind of cool bird feeding instrument. It's made out of like a metal piece and just an empty soda bottle. And I found it at a yard sale for a dollar and I hung it outside with some bird scene in it. And it attracted all sorts of birds. We have like blue jays, cardinals, finches, sparrows, all sorts of adorable little birds and they're getting so fat. They're so cute. And I really, really love just kind of sitting on the chaise on my couch and looking out onto my porch that has all of my beautiful plants on it and watching these adorable fat birds and occasionally some really mischievous squirrels and occasionally a white cat that showed up today, probably because of all the birds come out and just be on my porch. And it's kind of like nature, but I'm on my couch and I love it. And also bird feed is not very expensive. I bought again today a 20 pound bag of bird seed from Home Depot and it was about $5. So I'm actually considering getting a second bird feeder so that I can attract even more birds because they kind of fight over the little pedestal spots sometimes, which is, which is cute, but I don't want them to fight. I want them to all get fat and be super happy. <laughs> so those are some extraordinarily frugal ways that I treat myself. I would love to know if you enjoy any of those same things, such as getting really old and bird watching or millennial plants or baths or anything. It's got a little weird. And I would love to know what frugal ways you treat yourself and make yourself feel, feel special down below in the comments. If you liked this video and would like some more tips on frugal living, paying off debt, or managing your money, I'd love it if you subscribed to join the channel. I have new videos coming out every single week. And thank you again to Go With Less for inviting me to this collab. Their video and the other collaborators will be linked down below and I hope you go check them out and tell them that I sent you. All right, I'll see you guys next time, bye.